Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Aaron Burr with a fresh new episode of the Free Thought Doctrine. Today, I'm bringing back John, like I promised a couple episodes ago. So, uh, John, how you doing? Oh, I'm doing all right, Aaron. How are you doing today, man? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. So, uh, yeah, so I wanted to bring you on today, and um, if anybody paying attention to recent events, um, the recent speech by Biden revealed some pretty major things that are to happen. We'll put it that way, right? So, <laughs> <laughs> one way to put it, sure. You mean tyranny? Um, Is that what you mean? <laughs> yeah, absolute tyranny. Um, so, um, obviously, this has uh, raised major red flags from a lot of people across the country um, in, in regards to particularly the vaccine mandates that we've all been clamoring and screaming about for months now, six, seven, eight months ago, saying this was coming. And a lot of people were like, no, it's not going to happen. That wouldn't happen here. I mean, how many things in the last year and a half, you know, did we say things like that that happened anyways? Because it's all obvious that, you know, the, the worst things we're saying have come or, or are in the process of coming right now, right? So particularly about the vaccine mandates, it's not just, you know, the everybody in the government has to get it, which is a thing. And it's not even, you know, just the military and the government civilians, but even contractors and then... But I would say the the biggest, or at least the 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 huge red flag in all this, is has to be the you know private businesses, quote unquote one hundred or over, having to you know being required to have all their employees vaccinated via OSHA, right? So that's the controversy. Um, and I mean, if you listen to the whole speech, I would say that that is one of the most authoritarian speeches I've ever heard coming from a sitting U.S. president in my life, bar none. It was blatant authoritarian statism in your face. I mean, it is. It was. It's literally, and we love to throw this around, this, this word around a lot. At least a lot of people did on in the last administration fascism it's pure unadulterated fascism it literally is um john i know you have a lot of strong feelings about this so (laughs) yeah you could say that i mean i remember uh calling you yesterday afternoon and i said man we need to do a podcast i am not happy with this this is ridiculous how can a president how can anybody I, i don't president government anybody sit there and look at the American people and say, I am going to force you to put something inside your body, whether you want it or not. And if you don't, and if you don't, oh, I'm not going to find you. I'm going to find the company. So what does that mean? What does that mean to me? That means that if you work for a company that has a hundred people or more, and they say, well, you have to get vaccinated because if you don't, OSHA is going to fine us $14,000 per person that's not being vaccinated. Then that company is not going to take that. They're going to be like, you have to get vaccinated. And if you say, no, I don't want to get vaccinated. Well, then we're going to fire you. So now you're being fired. So that's not going to impact the company. It's going to impact that person. So basically what they're doing, what what the government is now doing is they are taking away your means of financial security, going directly against the NAP, saying that they're taking away your rights to pr- for pursuit of happiness. And they're aggressing against you by taking this away from you, because bottom line is, is if you don't have a job, well, then you can't make a living. Well, if you're not vaccinated, then you're saying, if I'm not vaccinated, I can't make a living. I don't think so. Well, well, John, John, hold on, hold on, hold on, John. They're not being forced to do it. 
all if they don't want to get the vaccine, all they got to do is get tested every single week and, you know, provide the funding for that themselves. So so they're not being forced to do anything, John. Oh, no, 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 no. You're right. <laughs> You're right. You're right. You're absolutely right. When you say 100, you know, for those companies. But let's talk a little bit about something that's near and dear to my heart. A federal contractor. Yeah. I know a lot of them. Mm hmm. And they are not giving you the testing option. You yeah, will be vaccinated case, yeah. or you will not be authorized to access the facility, period. Yeah. So therefore, I'm taking away your capability to earn money. Because here's True. the kicker. As these federal, these contract companies, they're not going to stand up to the government. This is That's their, inst that's their main income. That's income, how they yeah. make their money. Yep. And they're actually, it's actually going to make them more ruthless and competitive to take contracts away from smaller companies that are that don't want to do this to their people. Yeah. So it is it's a very scary I mean I wouldn't even go scary. It just plain pisses me off. No, and, it's scary too. It's definitely scary too. I mean, just the uh, unprecedented seizure of power by the by the by the state, right? Well, like, well I mean, yeah, by 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 the deep state, absolutely. I mean, because because let's yeah, keep in state. mind, it ain't the deep state; it's the whole damn state. Well, yeah, <laughs> it's, it's the state. The state. No, <laughs> the you're deep state's only right. a portion of the state. It's the whole damn well, thing. Well, you know, and 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 he, and here's the thing, and I want to I want to put out before you know for your listeners, uh, I am fully vaccinated. Mm -hmm. I am. I'm not fighting this because I I don't want to get the vaccine. I am vaccinated. I'm against this because. It is a such a overreach of power and authority that is just unbelievable that I would have never thought I would have ever seen. It, I it totally agree. With absolutely you. blows me away that this I mean, now I say that, that it blows me away. I believe you and I were talking around January, February of this past year. Yep. And I said, hey, Aaron, guess what? This is going to be mandatory soon. For sure. And now I meant that in a government realm. You know, I would have same, never same. thought it would have gone to private business. I, no, I'm not going to lie. It, it never truly cry. I said it, but I didn't, I didn't think they'd actually go that far. But they did. So. Yeah, it, it's it's incredible. <laughs> and, it's incredible. Yeah, and, and, you know, full transparency here. I myself am fully vaccinated, right? It has nothing to do with the vaccine per se like the stance that you and i are taking right because in fact i'm very very pro vaccine i think there's a lot of efficacy to the vaccine i just i stand 100 percent against a mandate because i stand 100 percent against all fucking mandates right all mandates are backed up by force and i yeah. and like you said you mentioned the nap it's it's nap it's self ownership and its consent so essentially yeah. people are being denied consent over bodily or over body autonomy right They're over their bodily autonomy right essentially the government is stepping in via the barrel of a gun and forcing people to take a vaccine maybe not directly via force but it's but they are like i just said earlier I'm going to take away your livelihood if you don't get vaccinated. The mandate at the end of the day is always enforced with violence. It's just as simple as that, right? Right. It's a full, full on force. And I said, but you said, uh, you know, you, when you said they're, they're not, they're not, they, yes, they're not sitting there pointing a gun at you as you walk into a facility and sticking you with a needle and threatening to shoot you. But they are taking your livelihood. They well, are I mean, threatening your ability to make a living if you're not vaccinated. And you know what? It for all we know, the, 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 actually, at the end of the day, if they're charging people, if they're charging businesses fourteen thousand uh, dollars, you know, every time there's an infraction, then in reality, they are doing this by the barrel of the gun. Because what happens if that business says, "No, I'm not going to pay your fines." Oh yeah, they're gonna they're gonna get shut down, aren't they? And how are they going to get shut down? Yep. Men with gu men with guns are going to show up at their business <laughs> and deny them 
their right to run their business, right? Like, right. It's just if a business were to be like, no, I'm not, I'm not, uh, I'm not paying these fines. Now, yeah, you know, I mean, that that's a, a possible scenario given you know push to the extreme, but sure. um, I guess it's, where it, I want, yeah, go ahead. It's there though. I mean, it's there. And now, now I want to talk about as we're as we're talking about this. You know, we we kept said this is unprecedented. This is insane. Yeah, this is the this is. This is unprecedented at the federal level. Yeah. However, this is not, and this is the case. You and I were talking a little bit about this. There was a case in 1905. Uh, a, a pastor named Jacobson, he fought against the smallpox vaccine. Now, mm-hmm. I know when you sit there and you think, oh, smallpox. Oh, my gosh. That's a deadly, That's a that was a deadly disease, you know, and that killed a lot of people. And, and you know. I, yeah. I agree. I agree. And this this Jacobson, this Pastor Jacobson, he he said, I don't want to take the vaccine because of the negative effects it could have. Yeah. I hear that a lot from people now. I don't want to take the COVID-19 vaccine because of the negative effects. Yeah. Okay. Makes sense. I think you have every right as a human being, as a person, yep. to make that decision for yourself. Well, the state of Massachusetts, who he fought against, disagreed with him. And he said, they said, under the auspice of public health, which we've heard how long now over the last couple of years? Yeah. The basically the police, I like to use that, you know, use the word police have the right to come tell you, yes, you will be vaccinated. Yeah. And he said, no. So he went to the Supreme Court in 1905. The Supreme Court, at a seven to two decision, decided on. Who can you guess? <laughs> Go for it. The state of Massachusetts. They agree with the state of Massachusetts. Now, what does that mean? You and I were talking about this before we we started recording. Yeah. What does that mean? Well, that still doesn't state that the federal government can do it. That means the states can do it. Yeah. So. So right now, I know there's what 15 states that I'm aware of that are against this 100 percent. You know, like uh, Governor Noem says, nope, see in court. You yeah. know, uh, you know, Governor DeSantis, nope, we're fighting this tooth and nail. Uh, I uh, forgive me for not remembering the name of the governor in uh, South Carolina. He said he's going to fight this. T- he said they're going to take it to the gates of hell. He said up, put out a tweet. Yeah. You know, they're going to fight this to the gates of hell to make sure that their South Carolinian people have the rights and liberties not trampled on. OK, you know? well, 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 let me ask you this question. Mm-hmm. So given that the given that's what's going on, do you believe that that's going to do anything? That's a that's a loaded question. And the reason I say that is because. Yeah. I don't. The problem is I want to believe it will. Why do you want to believe it will? I want to believe that we as an American people will stand up to this. So hold on. So you're saying. I mean, it's just it's just like anything else, though. Well, hold on, hold on. So what what I'm saying is in your in your view, you, you tell me if I'm wrong, so. In your in your view, gov- the governors, in this case, Republican governors, taking this to court, eventually going to the Supreme Court, is the American people? Would you say standing up against this? Yeah, like that's what that's what that represents. Right. Okay. I I I truly think I want to believe uh-huh. that. Well, first off, I, I why, hope, why why do you want to believe that? Why do I want to believe that that we'll stand up to this? Why, what no no? Why do you believe that governors going to the courts is the American people standing up to this? Well, because that's the first step. Okay. So so there, there's it's going to go through a process. Okay. That and you and I were talking about this earlier. The they're gonna they're gonna the, the Supreme Court's going to look at that 1905 ruling. 
that was done b- back in 1905, if, if when this goes to the Supreme Court, because this will have to go to the Supreme Court. Okay. This will not happen until it goes to the Supreme Court. I, I hope. Okay, I'm not saying it. I'm not saying that's 100. percent Okay, I'm not okay. an expert. I hope that this goes to the Supreme Court, and a decision's made at that level. Now, the Supreme Court can look at this in two ways. They can say, yes, the government is in full authority to mandate a vaccine under the auspice of public health via the 1905 Jacobson versus Massachusetts ruling. Okay? Okay. Or they're going to say, no, it is not. However, the states can mandate it. Okay. So if that happens, then yes, in my mind, those governors of those states are the people that can stand up to this mandate. Okay. Okay. Of those states. Now, if you're like me and you live in a liberal state, unfortunately, which still pains me to say every single day of my life, (laughs) the, the, it will be up to the people to stand up to it. And you, you and I have talked exclusively about this. You know, we've talked about this so much. But hold on, hold on. I want, I want to go back. I want to, I want to go back. I want to go back to your first premise, though. Okay. That they uphold it, and now, so say they uphold it. So now, all fifty states, regardless of the red or blue, are forced to abide by this ruling well, or whatever. Yeah, whatever and, and you and want that, to call it EO, whatever you want to call it. So, sure. In that scenario. Do you still think that the people, that the American people were, that they stood up and their voices were heard kind of thing? No, right? So Absolutely not. Okay. So at that point, at Uh that point, that's where the American people need to stand up. You know, right now, we have to hope and pray that this is found unconstitutional and goes against any kind of, you know, I guess, I guess uh, this, this is where, this is where I'm, this is where my, I take issue, I guess, to put it that way. I take issue with this because to me in those particular States, if the people do not believe are totally against this, right? Just put it that way. If the people are totally against this, if if it was me and I'm in a state with a quote unquote Republican governor in a red state and I'm like, I'm against this. And what do I want for my leadership, for my for my state leadership to me? Oh, gee, thank God they're taking they're going to take it to the court. The damn courts get us. They get us nothing. They're, they're going to up, they're going to uphold that shit. That's a fucking guarantee at this point. All right. I just I don't see it not happen. As far as I'm concerned, it's going to happen. So to me, a governor out up there, you know, rattling his finger, go, I'm going to take this. That means that doesn't mean a goddamn thing to me. So That's what, what would joke. you do, Eric? I mean, what, what would I'm you saying do? is what? they need to stand up. They need to grab their balls and say, we in this state, regardless, no matter what happens, we are not going to allow this to happen, period. I don't give a fuck what the fucking Supreme Court says. We are not doing this in the state. That's what I, I want. I, and, that, and that's that's what I was. That's what was going to be my second point. But now that's yeah. my first point. That's my fucking first point. That's but, that's immediate. That's that's second number one. That's one second after that speech. I should have been on fucking TV saying, "Hey, we will not do that in the state. Fuck the courts. We ain't, well, I don't give a fuck what the court says. We ain't doing that shit in the state. And we're going to use nullification and federalism and localism and fuck that shit. We ain't doing that." No, none of them are. Not, oh, they just sit there. Oh, we're going to take it to court and blah, 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 blah. Yeah, that doesn't mean a goddamn thing. It just shows me they're part of what's called the loser brigade. You're just going you know, to take it to court and you're going to fucking lose. That's what's going to happen because that's what Republicans do. They fucking lose. So, so I appreciate the. the, the <laughs> I'm not yelling the, at you. I'm just, I'm just I saying. Well, yeah, you are. Don't yell at me. I didn't do this. <laughs> but no, but the. <laughs> The no, I, 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 and I, and I, and I agree with you, Aaron. I do. Well, I what do. I'm saying is, I, re- my I, re- point I regret is, this. I regret the premise of this whole situation where we get, oh, we got our rights trampled on, all right. And then what do our leaders do? 
nothing. They do nothing. They literally just, just – it's lip service. At the end of the day, the authoritarians, in this case the authoritarian left, wins. I mean, na- name me a case and name me a situation, and I mean, we could go back 40, 50, 100 years, but just I'll give you the last 18 months. Name me a situation in the last 18 months where the side of freedom and liberty won. Zero. Fucking zero. And now they're, now they're forcing people to literally inject a substance into their body or fuck their livelihood, right? Right? That's where we're at now, right? Yeah. And, 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 what, and what do they do? What, what, what does the leadership of these so-called red states do? We're going to take it to court. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. So, you know so, so let me ask you this, Aaron. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, so you're going to stand up and you're going to say, no, we're not doing this. Go to hell. Yep. Fuck you, government. We're not doing this. This is our state. This is our. These are our people. Yep. We don't care what anybody says. Exactly. If you live in the state of whatever. Yep. You are not going to be required to get a vaccine. I don't care. Yeah, it's personal choice, right? It's if you want to get it, go get it. We, we ain't forcing anybody to get it. Yeah. You work for Walmart. You think Walmart gives a damn what that state says? Uh, well, I mean, probably not. But that's why that, that's why this whole situation happened in the first place. So, oh, right? I agree. Yeah, I agree. But so, my, you, you see my point, okay? My point is is the first step they have to try to get to is they have to try to compel these companies that that the because the companies are going to listen to a court ruling. I'm not saying they're going to win, Aaron. They probably won't. I agree with you. But what I'm saying is these people that work for these big companies, these Amazons, the Walmarts, the the Kroger's, whatever, they're multi-state. Yeah, but see, but see what I'm saying is that hasn't that's that's apples and oranges. Because just because a state mandates or doesn't mandate, the company can still do whatever the fuck they want. You know what I'm saying? Like if the company's gonna require Right, uh, you're absolutely right about that. But if But if the Supreme Court comes out and rules that it is that you cannot be mandated, they cannot mandate this. They will not mandate this. But but the Supreme Court's only mandating whether the government can mandate you to to do do this, not a private company. But my point is, is if if you are a private company, look at the look at what happened to that Methodist hospital in Houston. They tried to mandate it and the court shut them down. And, And again, it's because we're listening to all these bullshit courts. Well, but, you know what I mean? <laughs> but but my point is, is they the, the, the were shut down. The, they were not required. They could not do that under the Constitution. But that, so my that, point that, is that was that was a, a hospital. Yeah. Well, because the hospital's already gone, going from an executive order. That's in his speech. He's like, I already mandated all these hospitals and blah blah but, blah. But, Anything but, that but, takes fucking Medicaid or Medicare, and that's the even bigger problem, is that when you accept the poison, which is the tax dollar. I, then then no, you I, are I, I, you are gonna fucking have to do this bullshit. I completely agree, but my point is is I don't care if it's an executive order. My point is is if if the there still has to be a law like when you and I were talking about this yesterday, I brought this up. The first thing you asked me is like, what law? What kind of law? How are they enforcing it? Where's the bill? What is the, what law is being passed to do this? Yeah. Okay. So it still has to be a legal action. If the Supreme Court comes out and says, no, you cannot mandate this, then that gives the people, that gives that hospital worker, that Walmart worker, that person a leg to stand on and tell Walmart to kiss my ass. I will sue you if you fire me because you're trying to get me vaccinated. And then, and then they fire him and they sue him and lose in court. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't, but that's the problem, Aaron, is you have to, you have to start somewhere. But my, my, I understand my, my the anger, starting somewhere, I understand my, the anger, but, I'm but saying, you have saying, to start somewhere. No, but what I'm saying is my starting somewhere is not going to the courts because that accomplishes nothing. You're just wasting your time. My, my point well, is you, you just stand, said it right now. You said you could stand up and say no, but people I'm talking don't about the have leadership. that capability. I'm talking about the leadership of the state. I understand you're saying that, but my point is, is... You just said it. You just said it. The, these companies don't give a damn what the leader, what the governor of, you think Walmart gives a damn what Governor DeSantis says? No. They don't care. 
If well, they well, decide guess, they want to well, vaccinate so, their employers, then they will. But and what if I'm you saying, don't want to so, get vaccinated, they will fire you. But, but what I'm saying is, what are you trying to say? You're saying because the Supreme Court might say, oh, you, I'm we, saying that state, that's the hope we have. That's my but, what but, I said from the beginning. What what, that no, is no, the no. one hope I'm hoping that somebody stands up and that the Supreme Court says, no, this is not legal. Well, you and I, what I'm saying is that's stretching. what I'm saying is that's bogus. That's bogus. The Supreme Court to, to put your put 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 your fate in the hands of a Supreme Court, which time and time. So and who time am I put my fate in, failed. Aaron? Uh, That's what I'm these saying. Leaders that haven't done shit. My point is, so my, my, my at the end of the day, my overall point is this is why I do not believe in this system. It is broken. It has failed. I completely agree with you. And that's, I do not, I do not believe in playing in a failed system, though. You know what I'm saying? This is why I preach. Forget that shit. It's time to break up, decentralize, use nullification, use localism, start fighting from the bottom. That's what I'm talking about. To fight from the top is a lost. It's a lost cause. Right. And okay. if these governors were awake, they yes. would lead that charge. Yes. But they're not. Instead, no. instead, people sitting there go, oh, the Supreme Court, she ain't going to do nothing. They ain't going to do it. God, if you put your hope, what I'm saying, if you put your hope there, that's a false hope. It's a false God. I, that's what I'm saying. And so why would you pray but, to a false God? But right? you and you know I have I mean? talked about this so many times, Aaron. I understand what you're saying. Decentralization, nullification, localism. I understand that. But right now, we also have to fight within the system we have. No, fuck that. No, I'm saying do not fight with the system you have. The because system has failed. Use the system I, you had in the I, sense of nullification but, and but, federalism, but, yes. But if but we not, don't fight within the system we have right now to, to stop this train, that this bullshit speech that our worthless president— I don't, but I, What I'm saying is I, dis, I disagree with what you're saying is I don't think that's going to accomplish anything. You see what I'm I, saying? I, always, I, I say focus your attention on, like, focus your attention on a local level. Right. If, if you truly feel this, you know, if you truly feel this oppressed by this, which that's what it is, then sure. we need to go to our local governments, right, and demand that they that that's where the that's where the like the 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 pressure needs to be put on, right? The pressure shouldn't be put on, um, hey, we need to do this lawsuit. The pressure should be on, hey, governor, hey, mayor, hey, councilman, hey, whatever, state legislatures. I mean, that's where we really should be on state legislatures. Hey, let's pass these laws, and some already have, saying that we will not require mandates regardless of what the federal government says, period. And and, to, and to have the balls to take the hit, when because what's going to happen? They're going to be like, all right, we're going. you're not going to get this funding and that funding. They always There use, you have it right, right there. You said it. But see, the, but see that's what I'm said. saying is they, they don't have don't the balls. Have the balls. They, they don't have the balls in. to do it. Yes. Exactly. And exactly. that's the problem. So, so what I'm I saying is, all, there, so what I'm saying is all a facade. There's all a facade. I I it's, agree it's with all you. All you know, sm smoke and mirrors, right? I they agree. Go, oh, we're gonna go to the courts and the they ain't gonna do shit. The only thing they're gonna do is, is in the next year and a half that it takes to go through the courts, everyone's gonna be sitting on their hands waiting instead of taking action. And by action, I mean political action. All right, I'm talking about political action, like, pre like right now. I mean, even. Even the governor, the same governors, there should be people all up in the in the streets in those areas demanding, saying what I'm saying. Fuck the courts. Just fucking refuse it. Fucking well, refuse it. Aaron, sorry, a cop hasn't shot a black person. That's why we don't have people <laughs> in the streets right now, okay? So, but that that's the problem, all right? And I agree with you. And I understand your 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 point in saying it's a false hope. I get it. I'm not well, saying that it is the only that is that I am saying that when you have a president that comes out and has signed an executive order, when you have a president that is mandating immediately to have these companies with 100 or more people, these these weak leaders that we have in these states. These liberals, these I don't, I don't even I don't care liberals, conservative Republicans. I don't give a damn about that. OK, I'm, I'm sick and tired of talking about what a liberal or what a Republican or a Democrat. I, I don't care about that. I'm talking about a person, these weak minded people that don't have the balls to stand up and say, no, 
we are not going to accept this. We are not going to do this. I don't care what you say. I don't care what you, benefits you cut off from me. I don't care if you sit there and you say, all right, we're going to show up with a gun and we're going to force you to do this if you don't comply. Exactly. Well, I, the minute they do that, guess what? These states are going to comply. So my point is, Aaron, and I know you don't believe in it, and I don't either. I'm telling you, this is the hope. Hope. You, I shit in one hand and put hope in the other. I only got one full hand, okay? My point is, is I can hope that the Supreme Court says this is unconstitutional because then then at that point it will stop the bullshit train or at least it will slow it down and then we can start fighting and getting the local and getting the nullification the problem is is you can't do this in a 48 hour period because these leaders are not strong enough we need to slow the damn train down so we what can I'm get saying the white is this, people this is on not- board but what I'm saying is, is not slowing the train down. <laughs> what I'm saying is, is a futile effort. You're literally wasting your time. You're, like, there's no, you're going to accomplish nothing. And in fact, this is the problem. We've been so indoctrinated to rely on this, like on a quote unquote court to fix a situation. All right. They haven't fixed anything in the last year and a half. They fixed nothing. It, 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 the eviction moratorium thing, they didn't even fix. Like it, like it went by for almost a year and a half before they took any kind of action. And then Biden went around them anyways and did it anyway. So that's Aaron, what my state point. You <laughs> what state you California. Okay. Yeah. So in the state of California, do you really truly think that the people that live in California are going to stand up to this? The local communities, the local government is going to stand up to this and they're going to say, no nullification we're going to do localism we're going to say i don't care what the government says screw you we're not doing this is that going to happen i mean that's not my point my point is california is they're not going to do that i'm talking about the red state the governors who act like they're tough guys and tough tough people going we're going to take the court i'm talking about those people okay if they were I'm really talking tough about, guys i'm talking about 50 states okay not the 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 unvaccinated people don't live in the 15 states of these tough guys. But John, John, you already said it. Your second premise was that then it'll be up to the the states. So you still I, don't I, have a solution. I know it's going to still happen, Aaron. <laughs> I know it's still going to happen. <laughs> what I'm saying I'm is, in both trying to figure now, out. Now, what I'm saying in both your premises, the people in those states lose either way. I know. I know. Well, I'm I'm in one and of then, those. And then, oh, like and here's, I'm already and, vaccinated, so I don't. <laughs> but, but here's, like, know, but here's my second day, but, but I, same. But, but no, my second point. My second point is the reality of the situation is that the majority of the American people that you just talked about need to stand up. The majority of the American people want this shit to happen, and that's right. why it's happening. Well, <laughs> that's what I believe. That's a whole nother. No, it's not a whole other story. It is the story. It is a whole other story. <laughs> it's not a whole other story. It is the story. That's why these people get away with these things. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. They're not two separate things. They're one and the fucking same. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> well, you, you, you said it, what, a couple, well, you said you were watching a, a show and they had people like that, the comedian or the, the night yeah, late yeah, Jimmy Kimmel. Yeah, he, he had a b- late night bit on his show, or he had a show on his on a, he had a bit on his late show, where he yeah. made a comment about, and you know I, I forget the exact you know paraphrasing here, but something along it was a really bad joke that like wasn't funny at all. And I don't and I love dark humor, but it just wasn't funny at all, right? And it was something along the lines of, oh, you know, when the hospital the hospitals are full of you know full of COVID, blah 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 people, so they're gonna have to turn away people. And I say you turn away. The you know the unvax like haha go die wheezy or, you know some long some dumb like that and, and and you know some unfunny joke along those lines and the result was the crowd just it super went crazy with laughter and cheering right right and to me that is the sentiment of most of the people I mean you you just had it like you you were just you're just saying how a you know this president went on did a speech and said all these things and all that, right? And how that's wrong or whatever. 
But other than very small pockets of resistance, it's not like there's this, there hasn't been a national outcry. There's been a national support of it, is what I've seen. I mean, have you seen differently? No. I've seen I've, exactly. I've seen more <laughs> national support than. I mean, exactly. you, you see the now, but it also the reason I see people against it is because that's my circle. You know. I mean, you and I run into kind of the same circles. We run in the circles of yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I, know, I've we're, seen people we're, we're, it. We're, 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 we 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 congregate with people that are against this because that's minded. Yeah, but what, minded but what I'm saying is, on a national level, I haven't seen yeah, the outcry. Absolutely. You know, the, oh. Yeah, and I have been on Twitter, and there's you know they call it Liberty Twitter, or Liberty Twitter with all all the like the libertarians on Twitter. Of course, they're all against it, and like the conservative side of Twitter too, I guess. Right, and that's the the largest outcry, quote unquote, I've seen is from there. But well, that's let's not be honest. Right. I, I like I said, I don't take, I don't take conservative or or liberal side of this, because yeah. I hate to say it, if the roles were reversed and pr- uh, Donald Trump was standing up there and he said I'm that speech yesterday, <laughs> it would be, oh my gosh, the the liberals would be like, oh, I, you can't do that, my choice, my body. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so I I, uh, I don't take. I'm 100 percent with you on that one. 100. percent right. It was if so, it was if it was a role reversal, it would literally be the other way around. I oh, yeah. fucking guarantee Absolutely. that. Absolutely. Because both sides, both sides are authoritarians. Both yes. sides are authoritarians. Yes, they are. You know what I mean? Like, yes. and, it just comes and, down to is it their guy saying it or not? You know what I mean? Like, that's what, right. that's what's sad. Right. Well, we we could sit there meander on this for hours. But Agreed. let's let's continue to talk about the speech a little bit. Okay. Uh, you you had made a you made a comment. You know, you said that obviously this is the most authoritarian overreach you've ever heard. You know, yeah. uh, what is there anything specific outside of the obvious of the I'm going to mandate the hundred these companies with a hundred plus people to do this? What what else struck you with that with that speech? That kind of that kind of made you feel that. I mean, is is that really the gist of it, or is there that, anything else? Kind of. I would say that was the number one gist of it. That's like the the, the major thing. And there's there are support other supporting things. A whole, um, I'm gonna double fines for people not wearing masks when they're traveling, like on air travel. I guess he was talking yeah. about, right? And then yeah. how he was like, show some respect for these flight attendants, blah 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 blah, and all that. I thought that was pretty ridiculous because it's like, yeah, I've traveled a lot in the last year and a half. And I've bitched a lot about how the airports and the airplane and being on an airplane, you have literally no fucking rights, right? You're completely subservient to the state. And yep. so he essentially doubled down on that, right? By saying he was going to double double the fines and, oh, you better respect those flight attendants because he's basically turning the flight attendants into fucking Nazi fucking concentration camp guards on the fucking airplane. That's essentially what he's making them. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, so like, All right, that's one way to look at it. Yeah, that's true. But yeah. what I'm saying, because they, they, it's just it's just authoritarian all the way across. The, I mean, it, it's fascism. Right. It's literally fucking fascism. Well, that's not true. <laughs> you, that's oh, not, it's not true. true. Okay, no, it's not, because right? Antifa is not protesting. <laughs> so they can't be true, <laughs> right? Of I mean, course, am I wrong? Course. I mean, what? what, what? <laughs> no. Anyways, no. But the the. Uh, you're right. And uh, I, I really like, you know, when we've talked a lot about, you know, the only way to actually combat that and the only way to stop that is if everybody does, if everybody stands up to it. Exactly. Because that one person, that that Aaron, that John, that, you know, my my but my buddy uh, Thomas, you know, he he's one of those guys, too. Like, I mean, he stopped wearing his mask when mask mandates were in full effect. He would mm-hmm. walk into a store. He didn't have a mask on. He's like, what are you going to do? Yeah. And and ninety percent of the time nobody said a damn thing to him. Yeah. And uh but but the problem is is you know, when you're one person and you're trying to do it, then people cheer when you get hauled off. You know, because because people are tyrannical sheep. Right, right. But right? the only way to actually do it is if if that entire airplane took off their masks and just looked at the flight attendant and be like, What are you gonna do now? Exactly, but it's, that that won't happen because it's, you. you said the, the old, literally, there's when it comes to things like that, and and really with all this, with with, with the vaccine mandates, 
with with the mask mandates is mass civil disobedience. That's the only way to peacefully combat this, right? Like, there's literally the only way. Whether yes. it's hey, our state, the, 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 we're not going to comply with this across the board. Right. Our schools aren't going to do this. Yeah, we, every you know, all 400 people on this airplane are not going to put on their mask, or every all 5,000 people in this airport are not going to put on their mask. Right. Right. Until you have mass civil disobedience, nothing will change. Nope, I agree. If, 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 if anything in history has shown us in a in in a in the most peaceful process to get stuff done, I mean, look at the civil rights era, right? They got a lot done by being by using civil mass dis- disobedience, right? Like that well, yeah. that was their, I mean, that was yeah. the, the, what they used, and they right. got stuff done, right? But outside of that, I mean, what are you gonna do? Vote? Because that's <laughs> <laughs> then that's yeah that's because uh, voting's fixed we know anything. we see now that works so that's my um, point voting's fixed anything so and, and so it's I, funny you t- you you mentioned you mentioned uh i i just, you mentioned masks and i just want to i want to highlight this real quick and i know it's kind of off topic and what what we're talking about but i just find it entertaining i guess um mm-hmm. uh, you know they like for the the federal government you know the they said all federal government employees and all contractors yeah. will be vaccinated. But yet, they also said, and you will also still wear your mask. Yeah. Hold on. Time out. If we're all vaccinated, if everybody in the building is vaccinated, because you can't be in that building unless you are vaccinated, why in the hell do I still have to wear a mask? Exactly. That makes zero sense to me. So that's that's my point. Well, they're well, doing all this stuff, but it, none of it makes any damn sense. Well, the COVID regime has never made any sense. And and one thing about that speech is he said it right at the very beginning and several times throughout the speech. He kept saying, you know, everybody get masked, everybody get vaccinated and mask up, right? Or every, everybody get a, a, you know mandate vaccines and wear a mask. Like he kept right. combining it together over and over. Yeah, and over. I mean, right. And you know, and the funny thing is is if you if you really think about it and mm-hmm. i was actually trying to do a little bit of research it's very hard to find research on this but of course but the uh i was trying to find the antibody research uh-huh you know because there are some doc there are some sites i've seen and there has been some studies like i believe like cleveland clinic or a couple other places have actually uh-huh. stated that the antibodies of people that have recovered yeah. can actually provide you immunity just the same as a vaccine. Yeah. So, and because the intent, I remember when they were talking about it back in middle of 2020 at some point, you know, Dr. Fakey or Fauci or whatever his name is, yeah. he would he would sit Lord, there. Lord and, Fauci? Yeah, well, whoever's paying him the most at that time. Yeah. Um, but he would sit there and he would say, well, herd immunity. I love that term, herd immunity. Well, we're we're yeah. gonna try to achieve herd immunity. Well, what is herd immunity? Well, basically, the number is about seventy-five percent. Okay, so let's go back to Biden's speech. What did he say? Didn't he say about seventy-five percent of the American people have been vaccinated? So why aren't we at herd hum- herd immunity then? Because that was all bullshit. Well, exactly. That's my point. <laughs> yeah. But but I mean, even if it isn't, mm-hmm. even if it isn't, let's say it isn't bullshit. Let's say herd immunity is 75 percent. OK, let's say if you start looking at if you're fully vaccinated or if 75 percent of the people have had COVID and recovered from it, you've achieved herd immunity. You know, I, I it 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 absolutely drives me crazy. Because, because, because I mean, here's the thing about you know vaccination mask, right? And herd immunity is is basically it, 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 there's one there's one of two things that are the case, right? Either one, they're admitting, or at least they're implying that vaccines don't work, or it's just simply about power and control and forcing obedience, compliance in society, right? 
And it's probably all of those things combined into one. I was going to say, let's let's <laughs> combine all that together because yeah, that's, I mean? like, that's reality. Y- you're right. I mean, <laughs> I just, I mean, it, I, you know. Because well, well, of what I'm saying is if you remove any medical reasoning, any scientific reasoning, if you remove all that from the equation, then it really comes down to power and control. They just want the power and control to control our lives, right? I mean, why would they force a vaccine, but then also imply these things that basically saying it doesn't work? Because it's about right. power and control. If anything, right. they got between government and big pharma, trillions of dollars traded hands, and now they need to justify that. You know what I'm saying? So, the, the, so you know, here's, it's, it's, what, here's what needs to happen here. Yeah. Is uh, we need to just go start our own company. We'll we'll make it big enough to where it's only 99 people. Yeah. Okay, so we don't have to do the vaccine mandate. So we're good. All right. And that nine and our 99 people will be to start a worldwide movement or a nationwide movement of <laughs> localism, freaking nullification. Decent- <laughs> Let's make this shit happen. Oh, I, yeah, I just, exactly. I mean, you can sit there and bang our head against the walls, Aaron. But you know what, dude? It starts. It starts one at a time, man. I agree. And when we need to start this, I mean, and I know you've tried, and I hope your listeners understand where you're at, and they understand where I'm at, and uh, I hope they come along with us because I'm telling you, it, it's gonna, it we we have an uphill battle, but I believe that I truly believe that we can we can get there. I mean, this this is just this this tyranny is just insane, absolutely insane. We have to describe what that even means. Right. And like and, and you have to understand that that people are so indoctrinated since they're five years old and then propagandized their whole lives that to them, of course, the courts are the only recourse. And to say anything else is insane because they are so cemented and so, you know, indoctrinated, brainwashed to think that hey, this hey, has to be the way. Hey, hey. I told you that that's what I wanted, okay? Don't sit there and call me brainwashed. <laughs> well, I'm saying that we have to have a hope. <laughs> but what I'm saying is people in general, what. I'm saying even those governors, right? Like they're so brainwashed and entrenched that this is the system and this is how it has to be. And to, to stray from this line of thinking from, of this system, like – they think that's crazy but in reality that's what needs to happen is we need to abandon a completely corrupted broken system and and where did that begin it's decentralization it's nullification means we we we, we return power to the local municipalities and how do you do that is you literally ignore all the dictates from the federal government, right? That it is. So when we say decentralization, what could that mean? Does that mean the country breaks into two? Does it mean it breaks into five? Or does it mean it breaks into 50 different states? It could mean whatever. It, it, just as much decentralization as possible, right? right? What, uh, uh, to, to the fullest extent possible. And sure. when I say this, you know, because people might think civil war, civil war, civil war. What I'm saying is this is a way to avoid that as much as possible because that still may happen no matter what all right i would like it to not be that i would like a peaceful separation now even saying that even with a peaceful peaceful separation there still might be pockets of violence here and there like things still might like i'm not talking about any utopian situation here right like there still might be very hard times there still might be conflict all right but i think it'll be a lot safer than just an all-out civil war which is what they're and part of me wonders i'm not gonna lie in the back of my head, I was thinking, why would he? And I think I know, like I kind of said the answer in, in one way already, but why would he, the Biden administration or the, the states, the cathedral, the Fed, federal government, why would they do such a blatant move, right? 
And I'm just I'm trying to <laughs> I'm still trying I'm trying to think like like to me like do they want are they trying to force a situation you know what I'm saying I, 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 or or to like the flush they're trying to flush the people out they're going like people like like people like me who are coming out so hard against it. are they trying to target him and be like all right let's do this and this will like right. you know what i mean this will <laughs> you know what i mean like it just i feel like there's another hidden agenda here that that we might be like maybe this is the exact they're all about divide and conquer divide and conquer divide and conquer is this a this is the vision tactic to place people again you know what i mean like i i feel like it's very possible there's some hidden agenda here you know what I mean? And then, you know, that, and that, that's a good question. Or I was thinking yeah. the same thing. It's like, what, yeah. what, where are you, what are you trying to accomplish? What exactly are you trying to do? And now, now what, yeah, I know we know what they're going to say. Yeah. Well, we're trying to save the country. We're trying to keep the country from shutting down again. Well, the country shouldn't have shut down in the first place. Exactly. Okay. And because I know, I understand people have died from this i understand that and it's sad it's very very sad that people have died from covid but people have died from car accidents we're not stopping people from driving exactly people have died from alcohol poisoning i don't see them doing that you know what's funny aaron is that we're sitting there talking about the, you know the thing that scares me with this and i know it's under the auspice of public health yeah do you know in my Maybe we feeble brain where I think this is going to go next. What's that? Under the, uh, and it's going to be utilized under the auspice of public health. Mm-hmm. Gun control. Oh, yeah. No, people have been saying that for, for a minute now. Yeah. For sure. Okay. Yeah, well, yeah. I'm glad I'm not the only one that thinks it. I yeah, just, people... it, I was sitting there thinking about that. I was just like, they're gonna they're gonna be like, oh well, see, look, we can mandate vaccines, so now we can mandate everybody turns in their guns. Exactly. Now I do think if they do that, that might actually wake up enough people to cause some pushback, <laughs> right? So now, but now here's the thing: is and this is why this is why I this is why I take issue with with all this, right? Because I was just as just as much as I'm against this vaccine mandate thing was the same passion I feel about this now is the same passion I had about locking down about um, not allowing people to go to church, you know, not allowing people to, you know, cutting down how many people go to a wedding or a funeral, um, not allowing people to you know trying to mandate how many people could go into a home right for for a get together. Or for the holidays, um, you know, just these blatant infractions of liberty, right? And, and, and so it's the same thing. It's just going down the line, one thing after the other. And and to me, I'm like, okay, you know, after each thing, I'm like, all right, people are gonna rise up. People are gonna be like, no, enough, right? When they started saying, you know, <laughs> you know, like, well, everybody's have to wear a mask. Okay, no, people are gonna rise up. Nope, didn't happen. Okay, uh, businesses have to, you know. Close, you know, only half capacity or twenty five percent capacity. Okay, business owners and stuff. The people are going to start rising up. And then you know, then no, nothing happened. Okay, you know, people can't go to church. Okay, people are going to rise up because how can you know we have people have the right to worship, right? Oh, okay, nothing happened. Oh, you can't go into the emergency room or you can't go see your kid being born or you can't you can't be next to your dying grandpa in the hospital or you, know, you can't be you can't have that many people at the funeral or whatever. Okay, people are going to start rising up. Doesn't happen. Doesn't happen. Right. All these things, right. not, nothing happens. And then things kind of cope, open up. Okay, things are open up. And then they start shutting down everything. Okay, okay oh, no, 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 they're not going to shut down again because people are going to rise. Doesn't happen, right? And then, okay, they're going to start mandating the vaccine for the federal government, you know, military and, and uh, you know, hospital workers and, and uh, you know, government civilians. Okay, they're going to rise up. Okay, nothing happens. Okay, now they're going to start mandating uh, people at private businesses you know, over, over 100 Still doesn't never happen. happen. Never <laughs> it never happens. happens. Never. It never fucking happens. You know what no. I'm saying? And that's well, why I'm like, okay, maybe there isn't a hidden, a hidden agenda. They just know that they can get away with this shit because they're because no one ever stands up for anything. But you mentioned the guns, maybe, just maybe, maybe, maybe. maybe they would. I don't but, know. But I don't it's know. It's hard to tell <laughs> anymore, right? <laughs> it's hard to tell. All right, because because my 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 uh, initial of course is of course we were gonna start standing up for the strategy 
you know, bring up the gun thing, but I don't know that all these things happen and no one said a goddamn thing, right? It's just tyrannical sheep. Well, funny <laughs> thing is, is a lot of that stuff you were talking about, and and this is just for your uh, for some of the people that think we're you're a conservative or you know well, he's a conservative you know he's a you know no no because a lot of that stuff that you were like this is against liberty we need to stand up to it yeah was uh under uh if i'm not mistaken uh under trump so trump was trump was an authoritarian authoritarian leftist in my opinion he's doing yeah. the exact same shit he did the he's exact, doing the exact same, same stuff shit. that biden's doing now i and exactly. like i said i i i don't know Mm-hmm. I don't know if he would have ever mandated the vaccine. I, he I, would have. I, don't I bet you my life so? he would have. Absolutely. Huh? 100%. I don't, I, I, you're probably right. You're probably right. <laughs> He's an authoritarian just like the rest of them. He was just a, a different type of authoritarian. You know what I mean? Like He, he wasn't part of the authoritarian uh, club. Well, he still yeah, was I was going to say, he wasn't, he was, he's your... He's your he, he's that he's that jackass of a boss that nobody likes to work for type authoritarian. But, yeah. you know, and so. he takes credit for the vaccines. The same vaccines are now forcing into people's arms. You know, what I mean, like it, it, he even got booed at one of his rallies when he mentioned the vaccine. All right. Oh, and yeah. And it, it, so he, yeah, he gets booed at this rally. And then someone and a, a conservative I was talking to was like, now I was bringing up this stuff. And he goes, yeah, well, I was bringing up. You know the, the authoritarianism of all the stuff, and, and and he goes, "Oh well, you know they did boo um, Trump at his uh, at that rally." I was like, "Yeah, true, but it really wasn't that many people booing." I mean, the majority of people there it was probably it didn't sound like it was a majority of people booing. And did those people stand up and you know get up and walk out? No, they still back him one hundred percent. You know well, what I'm saying? So yeah, my buddy and I were talking about this too, and I think you and I've talked about this. The thing is, is what these at what point in our lives was it Reagan? Was it Kennedy? At what point in our lives did celeb- did politicians become rock stars? Become idolized? Uh, a long I, time just, ago. Really? I just <laughs> I just, I, uh, I can yeah, honestly sit there ago. and say, you know, it's like when I sat there growing up, I was like, people would ask me, so who's your who's your hero? I didn't sit there and say. Joe Biden, President Bush, Obama. <laughs> I never said that shit. I said Barry Bonds, which isn't very popular either, but <laughs> that's not the point, you know? Yeah. I mean, it's it, it's just funny to see that we just start because, idolizing. Because, well, because it's a cult, it's a cult of personality, right? These these people literally become idols. I mean, a lot of you know, I'll probably lose listeners as I say this, but a lot of people <laughs> because a lot of people there are a lot of people on the right that literally Trump is the second coming of Jesus Christ, right? They it's literally a, a Trump cult. You know what I mean? Like just like there was well, an Obama cult. The book of Revelations, that's not true because we didn't uh we didn't have the gates of hell open up quite yet. <laughs> but what I but what I'm saying is they it's not that they treat him like the second coming from the Bible. They just literally treat him what, like he's Jesus Christ. Yeah, I, know. You know what I, mean? yeah, I know. I was just joking around. <laughs> I was joking. Yeah, like but they, they treat him like a god. They treat him like a god. Just like people treat Obama like a god. You know what I mean? It, it's, it's the same shit. And maybe that's where it really started. I would say, like, after Obama, like, he was, like, the hero of the left. He could do no wrong. And then Trump was the hero of the right. They could do no wrong. Right. But they're both wrong. <laughs> they're both but wrong. But you know what? And that's why you're libertarian. <laughs> exactly. Because right? they don't idolize anybody. They idolize freedom. They idolize leave me the hell alone. NAP. Generally speaking, yeah. yeah. NAP. You know, I would, it, I would, I would specify Austro libertarian at this point because there's, there's too many Beltway blue, well, you know, yeah, Beltway libertarians right. or blue pill libertarians. Sure, Austro libertarian. That would, okay. That's more, more fitting. I would say. All right, makes sense. But yeah, makes but yeah, we, we, yeah. You know, like I, I had an argument today with someone about, um, you know, I mean, he was so basically the argument was about he was saying that he'd rather debate or talk to a conservative versus a liberal because at least a conservative was willing to debate, you know, and I know you said, you know, you don't even want to bring up the, those labels, but I'm just saying that well, was a conversation. Yeah. That was a conversation. And I was like, okay, true. Until you start 
bringing up certain there's certain things you start talking shit about trump and that that conversation's gonna end very quickly oh, oh ne- kneeling kneeling for the national anthem. <laughs> you know what i mean Say there's that. certain things <laughs> there's certain things that could end that uh, at the end of the day one's not as bad as the other but they're still pre- both pretty bad you know right. what i mean so right. and like i told them the same they're the same side of or the different sides of the exact same coin all right yeah, absolutely absolutely so well, hey, Aaron. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna cut this off, man. I'm gonna I I uh, I've got to uh, go pay some bills and uh, get some other stuff done for the evening. But uh, I really appreciate you having me on again, and I want to do more of this. You know, I, I want to talk to you more, and uh, I, I we have so many things to talk about that it's just insane. But this this one was really eating at me. I, I appreciate you, you know, taking the time to do this because, like I said, when I called you yesterday, I said. We need to do a podcast. So <laughs> I, we got to talk about this. I said, I can't take this. This is ridiculous. I cannot yeah. believe we have such an authoritarian reach from the government that I I honestly, truly never thought. I mean, I, I can't say that because I did. I did say this was going to be mandated. Yeah. But I really only truly thought that it would have been mandated for the government, for government employees yeah. uh, to, to reach into private business. It's just wow. I mean, no, just I mean, wow. I, I I don't know what else to say. I just, no, I, I mean, just, it, but one point I forgot to bring up is the one problem with our society is that the the line between a private business and the government these days is very blurry. It's very gray. Between you could even say that between the citizen and the government because of all the subsidies and all the the uh, the. Uh, just all the money that people get from the guy. I mean, if if you, you know, if, if if any business benefited from regulations targeted at their competition, if they accept any sort of tax credits, if you, yeah. you know, even sit if citizens, you accept any sort of wa- welfare whatsoever, including corporate welfare for the company. You know I mean, like that 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 line is so blurry. A lot of these major businesses, they wouldn't exist. It's hard. To, it's hard to exist or it's hard to imagine a society that was actually a free market because we we're so far away from that. Oh right? well, yeah, we are. That, you know, like these big, huge, major corporations in, in reality, in a, in a true free society, in a true market based consumer driven economy, you wouldn't have the, the, the structure, the, the, the basic, the, the landscape looks so much different. Right. We can't even truly fathom what it would be because it just, there's so much government intervention that it distorts everything. Yeah. So that's why even this with private business, I mean, I'm stare, but still on this fight, or whatever. But it's also at the same time, it's kind of hard to draw that line. Yeah. Where where where's it where's a stop, right? And I don't want to clarify that I don't yeah. agree with the mandate for government either. Yeah, me I neither. I don't agree. With, <laughs> I don't either. agree with a mandate for military. I don't agree with a mandate for. I don't agree with a mandate. Period. I don't care if you're. I don't care who you are. Exactly. I, I believe in personal freedom, and exactly. I believe in if I want a vaccine, I'll get it. If I don't, I won't. Exactly. And, and that person should have a right to to not get it. And if they want to combat COVID without a vaccine, who's I, who's to say that it's gonna? It's not. That doesn't mean that's gonna kill them. I've known people. I've known many, many people that have recovered from COVID. Same. And Dang. and so it's the thing. The thing is, it's personal responsibility. We've it, talked about before. It, right? it, it yep. just comes down to that. Yep. 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 So, well, hey, man, again, I do appreciate it. And uh, I look forward to uh, another podcast with you here in the future. I'm sure uh, something else is going to come up stupid that we can talk about soon. <laughs> for sure. For sure. All right, I appreciate you coming on. And I didn't mean to, I didn't mean to come at you come at you like that i was, I was just yelling at the, at the whole situation it was fun man i enjoyed it i enjoyed it no i had fun i this was yeah. uh, you know we, we've done we've done what probably five, four five six podcasts yeah. you know I've, yeah. you've had me on your show and uh i i'll be honest with the opposite there uh my wife was behind me and i could tell she was laughing the entire time you and i were you know she was just, she was just she was enjoying you could tell she was enjoying it too so so uh, i do appreciate it and uh you know and i look forward to more of it definitely yeah no problem i'll bring on again for sure so with that being said um i hope everybody enjoyed this conversation for anybody out there you could reach me at my twitter aaron burr ftd at aaron burr ftd thanks for listening 
This is the Free Thought Doctrine. 